Hi, I'm Tony Donst of the World Poker Tour, and these are five things you may not know about me. Number one, I've been playing poker for 15 years and before Chris Moneymaker won the main event. A lot of people in the United States really got started in that moment, uh, and many of them can't remember what the poker scene was like prior to his win or what online poker was like prior to that event. Um, I feel kind of privileged that I got in on the ground floor and that I've been able to watch uh, poker build and develop for so long, plus build relationships with so many people in the game. Number two, my education was in theater and public speaking. A lot of poker players have a background that's something analytical, uh, mathematical, um, they were chess prodigies. Uh, I myself was never really good in that area and I felt like it put me at a disadvantage against uh, many of my peers in competition, but I do have a background in public speaking. I did speaking competitions in high school, uh, I studied theater in college, but like many of my peers, I am a college dropout. And what was initially a disadvantage against so many of the other poker players has become an advantage in my career path of being a commentator for the World Poker Tour. Number three, I'm a minimalist, and what that means is I don't really think you or me or people need all that much stuff, that much possessions, in order to be happy. Um, I think Many people often sort of trick themselves into becoming, uh, you know, a hamster on a wheel chasing these things they don't need. But I've been living out of a suitcase for the last two years on the road with the World Poker Tour and traveling around the various events. And it's really made me think that owning a lot of stuff often becomes redundant and in many ways restrictive because all of a sudden, oh, you know, you've got to make payments on this and that and you can't leave this for a week and, you know, you're so tied down, you got all these things here. And, uh, you know, the saying goes that before you know it, the things you own end up owning you. Number four, I love everything about sports. That means watching sports, betting on sports, doing daily fantasy sports, arguing sports with other people across the table. Um, it pretty much doesn't matter what sport it is. I'm probably interested in it. I'm not necessarily that knowledgeable about every sport, but you could put just about any physical competition on TV, and I would much rather watch that than anything that has been scripted or pre-produced. Uh, I just love to see people who are excellent at something, and especially something physical compete and then I love to speculate about the likelihood of someone winning a game or accomplishing a feat within that game or having X amount of performance within that game all of it love it all and number five I am a big proponent of health fitness clean living and getting a lot of sleep. I'm not saying don't ever take drugs and alcohol or have a late night. I'm just saying that if you want to compete at the highest levels in poker tournaments, then you do need to prioritize feeling fresh and being ready for those events. Uh, I think that you can do all the analytical work you want leading up to that event, but if the night before you decide to go out until 5 a.m. and get wasted and now you show up on four hours of crappy sleep and you know your opponents are feeling fresh and everything, I believe you're gonna be at a disadvantage. And uh, I think for a while in poker, you saw a lot of people neglect these areas of their life, but that recently we've seen more and more players start to prioritize getting exercise, getting plenty of sleep, what they put in their body, um, the kind of meta decisions they make that lead into how present they are when they're playing serious poker. Play WPT is authentic online poker. Come and play WPT today.